Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Jump Rope to Freedom. In today's video, I'm going to be going over three foam roller exercises that I use three to four times a week at least to prevent injury and keep my performance with the jump rope where I need to keep it. Please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, share the channel with your friends. And if you're looking for a foam roller, you don't have one, or maybe you're looking for another one, I'll link this one in the video description below. The reason I'm doing this video is because jump rope is a great tool that you can use. Any exercise is a good tool you can use, but injury prevention and keeping yourself fresh, keeping your, your muscles ready to go and active is so important because if you get injured, you don't take care of yourself during your rest days and you don't stretch, it's going to be really hard to continue to attack your exercises with the same amount of intensity. Injuries can slow everything down. They can put you on the sidelines for a long time. And using a foam roller and stretching is one of the best ways to keep injuries at bay and to all out prevent injuries. Let's get into it. All right, check it out. The first stretch is the calf stretch. This is a great exercise with the foam roller to loosen up your calves. What you're gonna wanna do is set the foam roller under your calf, support your weight with both of your hands out to your sides. So it's also a good upper body workout. And slowly or in a medium speed, roll your calf over the foam roller using your hands and your off foot to push yourself you can go i'd go a little bit more slowly than i was doing in the beginning kind of at the speed i'm going right now but the most important thing here is to avoid any bone contact what i'm doing is i'm going up to around where my knee is a little bit lower than my knee and i'm stopping just short of my ankle bone and you can also put your off foot up in the air like I'm doing right there on the heel to get more support. Now we're going to the side view. You'll be able to see a little bit easier how far up my leg I'm going. Most important thing is avoid, <clears throat> excuse me, ah, avoid bone contact. You see I'm stopping just short of my ankle bone. This is a muscle stretch. You're basically acting as a masseuse for your own purposes. This is what a massage therapist would do. They probably wouldn't use these tools, they would use their hands, but the foam roller acts just like a masseuse's hands to get into the muscles and loosen them up so that they're ready to perform the next time you're going out. So this is how you do the calf stretch. This is a great foam roller stretch to loosen up your calves. The next stretch is probably my favorite one, the sciatic stretch. It's a little bit more advanced. It takes a little bit of mobility. What you're gonna wanna do here is go kinda on the side of your upper leg and lean over a little bit. Support yourself with your off hand, so if you, or your on hand. So if you're on your right side, you wanna support yourself with your right hand and roll yourself back and forth after you've put your right knee after you put your right leg behind your off knee so you see my right leg is crossed over across my knee and that's giving me the support that i need and this is one where you might have to adjust it a little bit your target is your sciatic nerve so you're leaning over to your side a little bit and you should be targeting the upper area of your buttocks your fourth point of contact and you should be feeling a little bit of stress and resistance there, which is like I was saying earlier, the massage portion of it. And you should feel your sciatic nerve loosening up. You should be going about up your buttocks and down your leg. Remember, don't hit your hip flexor or your hip on this. Your hip bone is what I meant to say. Don't hit your hip bone on this. As we go over to the side view, you'll be able to see it a little bit easier, the part of my leg that I am activating with the foam roller. So I'm slowly rotating my sciatic nerve along the foam roller. 
and it's loosening everything up. Now this is my favorite exercise with the foam roller because I've had a lot of issues with my left sciatic nerve for about the past, I'd say three years, even before I started jumping rope. And I know that it would be a lot worse if I wasn't doing this exercise right here. And I've been doing some other things, switching out my shoes more often to keep my sciatic nerve pain at bay. And it's gotten a lot better since when it first started flaring up back in 2017. But you can see here, it's a pretty simple exercise. It does take a little bit more mobility. It takes a little bit more coordination than the calf stretch. The last stretch is the groin and thigh stretch. And this one looks a little bit funny, but it does work. What you're doing is you're targeting your groin and the top of your thigh. And the way you support yourself with this is you put your off leg, so my left leg is pointed outward and I'm using my knee and my upper body to rotate my groin and my thigh, the outside of my thigh or the front part of my thigh along the foam roller. And that's what I'm doing here. It does look a little bit funny, but this thing works. It loosens up the groin really well. We're switching over to the side view of my right foot. You wanna try to keep your leg as straight as possible, but you also want to ensure that you're getting the entire thigh all the way up to your knee Remember, no bone contact on the foam roller. You want all muscle on the foam roller. You're getting your front of your thigh properly activated onto the foam roller. So I'm gonna switch over to my left side now. And this view right here gives you a good idea of what the off leg is doing. If you see my right foot, it's supporting. I have my knee on the ground. It's poked slightly outward. It's not straight down. My knee is not straight down. It's slightly outward so that I can give myself a good center of gravity and so I don't fall over on either side. It gives me some extra balance. You can see I'm keeping my left leg as straight as I possibly can so that I can activate the entire thigh and the lower part of my groin. And the thigh and the groin, I mean, all these exercises that we hit in this video are all important to jump rope. Jump rope is, is a full body workout, but it's got a lot of lower body involved with it. So legs are really important to keep fresh. So you always wanna keep it fresh and a foam roller is the way to do it. All right, thanks a lot for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it brought some value to you. Jump rope is a really great exercise, but no exercise is any good if you can't do it and staying injury free or minimizing the injuries that you have if you do have them is a key factor in being able to exercise frequently and with the most effectiveness and efficiency as you can subscribe hit the thumbs up button until next time i'll see you later jump rope to freedom peace
Thank you. 